All right. Hey, you guys. It is Sabaki Swag. And I'm coming to you with a review, I guess, like, uh, I don't even know what to call this video of the new Boruto, Bur Boruto, I cannot talk today, Boruto manga chapter that came out today. So, like, there have been plenty of spoilers over the past, like, few days or so where they were showing, or first it came out, like, they showed Boruto being older and people were like, nah, this can't be real, blah, 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 and then it came out in color and it wasn't translated yesterday. So today it came out, it was translated, and like literally for those of you like me who have actually seen the Boruto movie, like literally only the first three pages are the ones that you need to read in this chapter. The chapter was very much in depth and I have to admit that like looking at the art and everything in this chapter you can tell that Kishimoto is not the one who is drawing it out. Not saying that it's bad but you can tell because the art style is slightly different. Like you can tell what it is. You can tell like it's like Naruto, Boruto, uh, Shikamaru, um, everybody. Like you can tell who everybody is but the art style is different is not the same as Kishimoto's art style which I mean I wouldn't expect them to be able to completely dupli duplicate Kishimoto's art style because it's a it's different people drawing the pictures so not everybody draws the same I mean like even for me when I do fan fan arts of different like shows and mangas and all that good stuff my fan art usually is not spot on to what the original looked like i can get it as close as possible but then i also do change a few things so that way it doesn't look like i'm copying from one thing to the next which is why i i'm not upset that the art style is different but you can tell that it is by different people it's not by kishimoto anymore he is overseeing it but he's not the one who's actually like drawing it or anything so Literally the first three pages is what you really need to read of this manga chapter if you have not seen the movie because literally the rest of the like 60 pages <laughs> of this chapter was from the Boruto movie and the first three pages starts off like Boruto and this guy Kawaki is standing on the crumbled face of the Hokage mountainside and Kawaki says that he was going to bury Boruto like he did Lord Seventh. So that means that Naruto is no longer with us which really fucking sucks because Naruto is like the reason why there is a show but um so Naruto is no longer with us the um the Konoha village, uh, the leaf village is pretty much gone. Like there's no more leaf village. Everything is crumbled and destroyed. So it looks like Kawaki might be the reason why. And from what I can see of Kawaki, he reminds me quite a bit of, um, he kind of looks like a mixture between Naruto and Sasuke. And I was actually discussing this with JB yesterday. Like he looks like a mixture between Naruto and Sasuke and I feel like that has something to do with Orochimaru like because we all know how Orochimaru is. Orochimaru probably got some like DNA from Naruto and Sasuke and made a clone of them because he has been known for it or it is a strong possibility that Orochimaru is actually in fact in the body of Naruto which is why it looks different. I'm not absolutely sure. Really don't know. I mean we probably won't know until it comes out as to who Kawaki is but we you can obviously tell that there is a connection between Kawaki and Boruto because they both have matching tattoos which reminds me of way back in the day like way way back when Sasuke um became a part of the sound four and got the curse mark so like and Kawaki's glowed red I think Kawaki's was red and Boruto's was blue and then like it showed that Boruto can activate uh his Byakugan in his right eye which also if you notice in the chapter in the on the page it showed that 
Um, he didn't have the veins coming out of his eyes, which means that it's a possibility that he has the perfect Biakugan or the Tensaigon, which would be really fucking awesome. Like, <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. That would be really awesome if Boruto does have the Tensaigon. But, um, yeah, so it shows, like, Kawaki and Boruto are about to go up against each other, and, like, Boruto has... A simple well, Boruto still has Sasuke's headband from the original story, like when Sasuke got the slash through his headband when he left um, the Leaf Village. So, but there is an additional slash through it that coincides with the scar on his right eye, which was I'm guessing why he keeps his right eye closed unless he's using his Byakugan, which I don't like. I kind of don't understand why he's not able to turn it off because he hasn't had it all this time. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But that's pretty much really like there are so many things that I could go into like who Kawaki is why is he there why is the leaf village destroyed because Kawaki mentioned that the time of the ninja is over blah 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 and Boruto was like well I even though the time of the ninja is still over I am still a ninja so I want to know what the fuck happened because literally after those three pages it goes into the Boruto story and like this is the story about me this has nothing to do with my dad even though my dad played a huge part in my story blah 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 so I'm guessing that this whole manga is going to go through the Boruto movie probably gonna add some extra stuff in there like similar to how it's doing with uh Dragon Ball Z Super or Dragon Ball Super um where they were like showing what happened in dragon ball z uh resurrection f movie but they added some extra things and then they've gone way past the movie so i have a feeling that it's going to be something similar to that in this manga which i would love it if it was animated i mean even though they've we've seen the movie maybe they'll animate it after where the movie left off at I don't know or maybe they'll just do it all together that would be really freaking awesome because I would love to have another show because we all know that Naruto is about to end because the manga already ended so and it's getting real close especially with Kaguya popping up but there oh, there's just so many things there's so many questions that I have and it looks like it's going to be a really long time before we find out anything about who Kawaki is or why he's there or what happened to the Leaf Village because from what I can tell and from like a, a, a spoiler that I read that in the first three pages Boruto is actually like in his early 20s which makes me kind of happy because I did a fan art like a some months ago of Boruto and Serata and I think that my fan art was pretty spot on to how Boruto would look when he got older minus the scar I mean I wouldn't know that he was going to have a scar through his eyeball but I mean that's neither here nor there I think my my fan art was pretty spot on as to how Boruto was going to look but yeah I'm so freaking excited about this manga I can't wait to see what happens I really want to know like who Kawaki is how he got there what is his purpose in life and what connection Boruto has to him because it seems like he like they know each other and at one point in time they were close to each other like they were comrades at one point in time or they had similar objectives so they were working together because Boruto was like uh why can't like why can't things go back to the way they were or something to that extent and Kawaki was like that's not going to happen pretty much so there has to be they had some type of prior relationship where they were not necessarily in cahoots but actually working together so I would love to I just want to find out who this person is why is he here and what connection does he have to Boruto and why did he kill Naruto so and I want to know where the hell everybody else is like what happened to Himawari because from what I saw in some of the other chapters that came out before the Boruto manga came out Himawari looked like she was going to be way stronger than Boruto because of her um her Byakugan activated so early and she like knocked out Naruto and it takes some serious shit to knock out Naruto considering how OP he was 
in uh at the end of the naruto manga after chapter 500 you could tell that naruto was really fucking strong so the fact that himawari was able to knock him out like cold like he was out all day is like i want to know what the fuck happened to her like where is she at why is she not doing awesome things with her brother but i don't know maybe that's just me so yeah i would love to hear from for those of you guys who have already seen the Boruto movie, or even those of you who haven't, I would love to hear how you guys feel about the first three pages of this chapter. Who do you think Kawaki is? What do you think? Where do you think he came from? What do you think his connection is to Boruto? Why do you think that he um, came and destroyed everything? So yeah. So as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me a whole lot. Show this to your friends. Show this to your mom. Maybe not your mom because I curse more than most normal people should. But yeah, um, as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me a whole lot. And this is Sifaki Swag saying adios.